Hey, welcome to this Windows channel. And as we are still waiting for the official release candidate of Windows 10, why not take a look at more anniversary features, things that are going to be in your Windows 10 on August 2nd when we get that big update. So one of the interesting new features that was not on Windows 10 is now in the uh, settings. It's not used yet. But it's very interesting. So if you go into your anniversary update settings, you have in system a new feature that's right down here called apps for websites. Now, of course, right now, nothing is here except it says your browser is the only installed app that can open websites. This is going to be cool because it means that websites will be able to call an app if they want to. So for example, in a future update of Twitter, say you're on a website where you can follow somebody on Twitter. Instead of opening the Edge browser giving you the Twitter page, it's actually going to be able to fetch your Twitter app. Same thing, you want to follow somebody on Facebook, same thing is going to happen. Instead of opening Facebook in the web browser, it's going to open your Facebook app. And this is going to be an interesting feature if it is used. I hope it is used by a lot of websites because it means that every app for every you know, service that you have will be able to you know, be used by any website for X or this or that reason. So uh, app, apps for websites is something that is coming in the anniversary update. And of course, as you see here, it's, you know, because not, it's not official, websites still don't have the possibility. And of course, apps will need to be updated to use this feature. But this is going to be an interesting feature, I think. So associating apps with websites, I think, is going to be a very useful feature at the anniversary update. And uh, it's going to be interesting, you know, how many websites will actually want to uh, do this. And maybe, it, you know, it's not necessarily related to the website itself. It simply could be, for example, a Twitter update that will bring this app to the, um, you know, uh, to this feature of, you know, apps for websites. So, for example, now I've got nothing, but maybe in a future update of all the apps like Facebook, you know, the ones that I use, Facebook, fa uh, Twitter, uh, news app, even maybe. Well, you'll be able to see all of that in an app instead of the website itself. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you enjoy our videos. And if you have any comments, questions, something you'd like me to post a video about, why not ask away? Thank you for watching.